British actor Robert Carlyle plays the maverick scientist Dr. Nicholas Rush, making this his first role in an American TV series. Tell me, first of all, what attracted you to this role? I have to say it was, it was a surprise, you know, when um, Brad, and, uh, Brad Wright and Robert Cooper, our executive producers and showrunners, actually contacted me about it because uh, it, it certainly wasn't on the radar for me, anything like this. How tedious. Little boys playing soldier. He wasn't familiar with Stargate. It's not like he was a fan and went... He'd, he was aware of it, of mm. course, but mm. he, he wasn't saying, boy, I'd like to be on that show someday. And with the second conversation, I was honest, and I said, look, are you sure you get the right guy? <laughs> and uh, they were kind of surprised by that. I don't think anyone had reacted to that before when they offered the job. When we first talked to him, he's like, what do you want me for? I don't see myself as the guy on the, on the Stargate poster. He said, but we're looking for someone that can make dislikable things likable. I said, that's interesting. But I'm your man, for sure. My father worked in the shipyards in Glasgow. I earned a scholarship to Oxford while I was working two jobs. I have earned the right to make decisions without explaining myself to you or anyone else. You give me some of that water. Keep walking. I've got a world-class performer, a uh, feature performer. These scenes better be bloody good. I promise you, I will do everything I can to make sure no one gave their life in vain. Carlisle, right from the top, him and I, we met, and I just felt we were like long-lost brothers. Oh, well, it's not been a pleasure knowing you. I hate to destroy Bobby's um, tough-as-nails image, but he's honestly like the sweetest, nicest, most down-to-earth, wonderful human being. I just love him to bits. Crawlers. Uh, yeah. Bobby, we all call him Bobby. He's just a, he's a, a, a big, warm presence on set. Light years away from the admiring eyes of your father or your drill sergeant, or whoever's approval it is you so desperately seek. He has every right in the world to be a huge douchebag, and he's not at all. Shoot him. Something about Robert Carlyle, I don't know if it's his talent or what, but as soon as you're talking to him, everything else just goes Whoosh. That screen says that what you're doing is going to overload it. Is that what it says or you not? You only think you know what it says in this screen because I embedded a rudimentary version of the ancient language into the game. This is not a game. Don't touch it, Rush. On a film, you know, the director sets the tone of the set. And on a TV series like this, I, I really feel it's it's your number one. And, and uh, Robert's our number one, and he definitely sets a really great tone. Politicians ask military personnel to sacrifice themselves for the good of others all the time. If someone doesn't go in there and close that door, we're all going to die. In the first couple of weeks of shooting, I told them all, how important this project was to me, how significant this project was to me, and how, how seriously I was gonna take it. And you do that again, and I'm gonna put a bullet in your face. I don't think so. You need me. Otherwise, you'd have gladly done it by now. For you, so far, what would you say has been the highlight on this particular project? But I suppose if I had to pick out something, it would have to be a trip to New Mexico. White Sands Missile Range, mm. 140 miles by 60 miles of white sand. And that was, uh, that's obviously representing an alien planet. Mm. And uh, it is like an alien planet, it was incredible.